Before you start to grow your social media following, whether it be followers on Instagram, subscribers on YouTube, there's something that you need to understand. The fact that your followers in these vanity metrics don't actually mean as much as you think. Let me break it down for you, talk to you about what you need to focus on, and then ultimately how that's going to grow your following with the right people. What's up? My name is Mike Sherrard. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, if you're new to my channel, welcome to the movement where every single week I drop multiple videos helping you scale your business and personal brand using creative and innovative content marketing and personal branding strategies. All that I ask in return is a little thumbs up. We're here to support each other. That's all I ask of you and I deeply appreciate it. So please make sure you give it a thumbs up and drop a comment, subscribe if you haven't, tap that notification bell. Now let me tell you something that is going to be a bit controversial. Let's dive into vanity metrics. So many people reach out to me and my company High Converting Content asking to grow their following on Instagram, on YouTube and any other social media platforms platform for the matter. But one thing that I have to ask you is why? Why do you want 10,000 followers? Why do you want a thousand subscribers? I've got videos on my YouTube channel showing you how to get your first thousand followers as well as 10,000 followers. I've got videos showing you how to quickly get a thousand subscribers on YouTube, but you need to understand why that's the case. Now, let me throw this back to you for a second. When I ask most people that question, they say, well, that's going to help me get business and that's going to give me the perception that I need, but it's not. I know of so many people, personal friends of mine, that actually have more followers and dollars in their bank account. They have hundreds of thousands, even some have a million followers on Instagram, and they're broke. They've got no money. The reason being is because those followers, those subscribers aren't in their target demographic. Most of the time they're just bought. They're from countries that are never going to speak your language. And ultimately they're never going to buy your product or service. So what use are they? If you have 50,000 followers on Instagram and only 1% of them actually use your product or service, but then you've got a thousand followers on Instagram and 25% of them use your product or service, which one matters more? You need to look at this deeply and understand this in 2020 where everybody's focusing on vanity metrics that don't actually matter. What ultimately matters, and you've seen this in the book, A Thousand True Fans, is that once you have a thousand true fans, a thousand people that if you drop a product or service today, they will buy it, that's when you can become wealthy, that's when you can scale your business to the next level. But so many people are focusing solely on the numbers and not who's behind the numbers, which leads me to the next point. If you have 723 followers, that's 723 people that want to hear more from you. They followed you for a reason. They want to get to know more about you. They want to see more from you. Ultimately, what you need to do as you start to grow as an entrepreneur is you need to focus on what you already have, the foundation you've built, the people that are engaging. Because what I need to stress is the fact that there's a human being on the other end of that number. If you get to 10,000 followers, that's great, but what about the first 300 that followed you, that need content from you, that want to hear more, that are looking for more value from you, that followed you because they wanted to learn? So you need to focus on who's behind the number and not the number itself. And ultimately, when you start to put out content that is caring about that, that is actually caring about providing value to any amount of people, that's actually when you're going to start to see your followers and your subscribers drastically increase only when you start to service the existing people that you have. So I know that there's people that just want to buy 50,000 followers to more 100,000 followers and they just want this profile that has what looks to be all of this social proof and get brand deals and get all this stuff. But people are becoming smarter. Brands are becoming smarter. A lot of brands that are hiring influencers on the macro and micro level are now looking at engagement rates, but also authentic engagement rates. If you have a picture posting in board shorts or a bikini and it gets all these googly eye emoji sort of comments versus somebody that posts a picture that actually gets comments of the like of how do I get that body? What kind of diet do you eat? What kind of workout plan do you have? Using the exact same photos but two different types of comments, the person that's actually getting the comments about how can I look like that? How can I achieve this lifestyle? How can I do what you do or become what you become? Ultimately, those are the people that are going to get the recognition, the brand deals, the income that reflects their subscriber and follower base. But the ones that are just looking for the vanity metrics just for the sake of this social proof of the optics 
are going to lose over time. You're starting to see that in 2020 a lot more now than ever. And people are wondering what's going on. Back when Instagram started, it was easy to get crazy following, crazy likes because Instagram's algorithm was trying to credit people that were active on the platform. And that way they would stay on the platform and continue to put out more content. But now that there's enough of a foundation of a user base on Instagram, now they're looking at quality versus quantity. So I urge you in 2020 to start looking at the quality of the content you're putting out, the quality of the engagement on it, and ultimately serving your customer base to the best of your ability. It might take some time to build up steam, but ultimately it's been proven by every single person that if you're consistent enough about providing quality value to your target demographic, you will see the results you're looking for. You just have to be patient and trust the process. If you have any other questions about Instagram, Facebook, any social media platform, drop a comment below. Otherwise, we do help people scale their business and brand using the right strategies, and we do help people drastically increase their engagement the right way. So hit me up if you want to know any more about high converting content or the content that we do for our incredible clients. Check out the video at the end of this about Instagram that's going to actually show you how to get more followers the right way. Otherwise, like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you next time.